In this generation filled with the innovation of various technologies, people decide to migrate due to climate change as the sea level rises. Decades in the process, they build shelters for them to live in. However, there are few shelter groups who decide to live on their own and later attack the earth indiscriminately. As a result, humans are motivated to produce AI and machines ready for war. The movie begins showing a woman named Captain Jung Yi lying on the ground wearing a battle gear suit. This woman wakes up and immediately runs to continue her mission. Currently, she is facing battles with AI robots that are busy shooting her to death. However, it is evident that she is well equipped for this type of war. Even though she is alone fighting a number of AI robots, she can still manage to fight back and protect herself. During her fight, someone called her to ask about the situation of her team. She responds sarcastically, telling that she is still fine, but she did not know that the intention of the call is to warn her about the upcoming Zimbo, a huge AI robot. They inform her that the only way to destroy it is by shooting its energy battery located on its chest. The caller sends her a guarantee that backup is on the way. After the call, Zimbo arrived. The caller mentioned that it is a massive object resembling a tiger capable of rapid movement and equipped with multiple firearms. It also has the ability to detect individuals even if they are in hiding. The war starts as Captain Jun Yi shows herself to the Zimbo. She is targeting the enemy battery, but Zimbo is too big and powerful for her to kill. With all her determination and braveness, she continues to fight until the Zimbo explodes as Captain Jun Yi manages to shower it with gas and her bullets. However, Zimbo has the function to water itself to save itself from fire. Captain Jun Yi then quickly goes into hiding. Meanwhile, Zimbo goes to search for her using its function to detect people. Captain Jung Yi employs her sense of hearing to determine the presence of Zimbo, as she lacks a means of visually tracking its movements. After a minute of searching, Zimbo finally finds her and shoots immediately. Captain Jun Yi manages to escape, but when she turns around and is about to shoot her opponent, she sees a tiny, cute keychain. This tiny, cute keychain gets her attention, and while she gazes at it, her opponent targets and shoots her, making Captain Jun Yi lay on the ground. Then, she feels the pain in her body and sees that one of her fingers is gone. However, Captain Jung Yi sees only metal and wires where her flesh and bone are supposed to be. It makes her scream out loud, realizing that she is no longer a human, but a robot. As soon as she finds out her real identity, Captain Jun Yi immediately stops functioning and everything around her fades away. All that happened to her was an AI-generated system creating scenarios as the team is preparing Captain Jung Yi for a real war very soon. Then, after, their team performs a thorough inspection to check her. They analyze the weakness of their creation, planning to do a lab analysis to diagnose the things that need to be improved. These staffs discuss and argue whether they should rebuild her brain entirely. Before they reach any conclusion, Seo Hyun, the chief officer, interrupts them that they must wrap up their session to proceed to a very special meeting. While heading to the meeting room, they pass by a room where there are many Captain Jung Yi replicas. At the same time, Captain Jung Yi, the robot, walks her way to the lab under the setting to get fixed. Meanwhile, the lab director named Kim Song Hoon is micromanaging every detail inside the meeting room. He wants to give a high-quality experience for their guests to ace their proposal. Soon after, Seo Hyun arrives, assuring the lab director that everything is well prepared. Then their client arrives seated on a comfy couch, waiting for the presentation to start. Then the lab director does the opening remarks and plays the video presentation. However, the guest gets bored with the presentation and tells them to skip to their main point since everything that flashes on the screen is something they already know. Under their requirement, the presentation proceeds to its highlight, starring the pride of Korea, Captain Jung Yi, the legendary mercenary of Allied forces, who in the end failed one mission and got into a coma. Despite this, they were still able to preserve her consciousness by extracting her brain and converting it into an AI program called Jun Yi. While the lab director is excitingly delivering his presentations, in the corners the chief is silently crying because Captain Jung Yi is actually her late mother. 
the director's presentation soon ends, and he then introduces the chief director, who will give them more information about why their creation is worth the investment. Seo Hyun then begins her presentations, flashing numerous data that shows her late mother had the capacity to become a great mercenary of the future. After the meeting, the chief and lab director heads to their office room, inside which the lab director shares his excitement about launching their new invention. He even expresses his gratitude towards the chief for allowing them to use the brain of her mother. Also, he proudly shows her his latest purchase, a mini electric fan. The director is amused at its cuteness and explains every function of it. However, the chief soon asks to leave for her ethics examinations, which every employee needs to pass before leaving the company. Before proceeding with her test, she passes by the lab to oversee the staff questioning Jung Yi. They activate Jung Yi, who wakes up panting very hard and screaming in confusion about her physical appearance. It is evident that she is ignorant of her current state. Besides, the memory of her previous life is still included in that data and needs to be removed before their launch as soon as possible. Afterward, they decide to end the futile questioning and turn off Jun Yi. While walking out of the lab, one staff member tells her how he is a great fan of Captain Jun Yi as he has a great motivation to fight for their side. However, Seo Hyun corrects him that her mother didn't fight for the country but her. She begins to tell the entire story that years ago, when she had a tumor on her lungs, but their family did not have any money to pay for the medical bills. So her mother decided to work as a mercenary to cover all their expenses. It was always traumatic for her knowing her mother needed to battle every day in danger. The staff member quietly listens and salutes her for the braveness she has. Soon after, at the station, Seo Hyun gets on the train. During her ride, she looks out the window and observes different lives. There is a dump site being cleansed by AI robots and people lining up to get a free kanji to feed themselves. Meanwhile, the chief hears a girl crying behind her, begging her mom to not go. As their conversation gets emotional, she reminisces about her similar past. The chief remembers the day of her surgery together with her mom, who couldn't be there for her because she had a mission. Her mom guaranteed that she would come back soon, but neither of them had any idea that it would be the last day they saw each other, as her mom gets into an accident. Shortly after arriving at the clinic, the chief's ethics test begins. The evaluator asks several questions about her, and she responds as honestly as she could. The results will take three days to release, but before she goes home, the doctor informs her that cancer is rapidly spreading in her body and she only has three months to live. Surgery could probably continue her life, yet, unfortunately, she doesn't have enough funds to proceed with the surgery. The doctor presents three options to her, with the first two being desirable, but requiring the financial resources that she lacks. The third option, while free, involves selling her brain to companies who would not hesitate to clone her, and this would result in subpar treatment. This is the same procedure that was performed on her mother. After the discussion, Seo Hyun departs the room without making a decision. As she walks home, she reminisces about her past. In her mind, she remembers vividly how the brain of her mother was sold. Some people went to their apartment, persuading them to sell the brain of her mother. They offered multiple benefits like paying for their living expenses, education, and such. Even though it is hard for them, her grandmother signs the contract of agreement, wanting to provide her with a better life. A lady from that company walks toward her and consoles her that her mother will be a great hero for their nation. She gives her a doll that replicates the image of her mother, and the young Seo Hyun accepts it out of ignorance. After reminiscing about her depressing past, Seo Hyun immediately returns to the lab and proceeds on the simulation. They develop the brain of Jun Yi again and activate it. When the simulation begins, the director commands the staff to shoot her in her legs. Then, the AI robot starts to react in pain like a real person. This simulation continues to run. Tons of robots are combating her and giving her pain. The chief director is crying silently, watching how they torture her mother. On the screen, they detect that the pain keeps increasing until Jung Yi falls to the ground. But everyone gets surprised when they see her rise from the ground and continue to combat all her opponents, 
showing endurance and strength that they haven't seen before. The team detects on their device that there's an unidentified area on her brain that motivates her to fight. When the simulation ends, the director asks his staff to replay all the recorded scenes and mark the unidentified area yellow for easier tracking. The next day, the team heads to headquarters to report everything that happened yesterday. It is evident on the director's face that he is proud. However, as they walk on the aisles, a lady wearing a lavender office dress gets their attention. She introduces herself as the new product developer and informs them that the person they are looking for is not available. The director is really pissed off, feeling that they are taking their invention for granted. So, they leave the headquarters to get back to the laboratory. As they arrive, the director lashes out at their entire team, but his mood changes like a snap of a finger when one staff member informs him that the chairman is waiting for him. He quickly goes to see him with Seo Hyun. However, when he walks in full of excitement, the director suddenly stops speaking and moving. It is now revealed that the lab director is an AI robot as well. The chairman then tells Seo Hyun that the Jung Yi project needs to stop since now the combat AI is no longer useful as their allied force makes an agreement of peace with Adrian's Republic. He suggests that instead of creating combat AI robots, they need to transition their project into housekeeping AI robots, which will be the demand of the market. The chairman is also planning to dispose of the director soon, as he sees no benefits to him at all. Even though Seo Hyun persuades him to continue the project, the chairman is firm in his decision. He ends the conversation and activates the lab director again. Not wanting to stop, the team runs their simulation again. However, the performance of Jun Yi is not excellent, so the director screams in anger. He asks his staff if the unidentified area has been found, hoping that if they figure it out, the decision of the chairman might change. However, the unidentified area is still missing. The lab director cannot accept this fact, so he eagerly went to the testing area, hoping he can activate the yellow area of her brain. While the test is ongoing, the lab director activates Jun Yi, who reacts like a real human, asking for rescue. Despite the poor situation of Jun Yi, the lab director proceeds to torture her. He cuts her arm, hoping that the yellow area will get activated, but he fails. Then, he immediately gets inside the simulation room to directly shoot her. After that, he requires Jun Yi to be activated, but there's no response. All the staff members have no access to it, it is the Seo Hyun operating Jun Yi who refuses to do so. So the lab director walks straight on her, pointing his gun to her forehead, threatening her to follow his command. But a savior comes, and another staff enters the room and tells him that the chairman is calling him to his office. After the scary event, Seo Hyun tells them to wrap up the project and send her all the data. Later, when organizing, she finds Jun Yi's data being secretly downloaded by the staff member who claimed to admire her mom. Then she visits his room and finds the face of her mother on a prosthetic body wearing bikinis only. This enrages her, the chief chokes him in fury and asks him why he let this happen to her mother. The staff member claims that it is not for personal reasons, but a secret project he is developing as her mother is famous they come to the idea that she could be of use for pleasurable entertainment. Though is she bursting into anger, when the chief sees the same doll she had when she was a kid, she suddenly calms down. Afterward, she returns to the simulation room and activates Jun Yi communicating with her. During their talk, Jun Yi expresses that she is worrying about her daughter. She recounts how she said goodbye to her daughter before undergoing the operation and gave her a miniature doll as a symbol of her presence. She also shares her feelings of regret as she lost the doll during a previous battle and became distracted in the fight when she spotted a similar miniature doll that her daughter had given her. After hearing all the stories, the chief stops the operation and screams out loud crying. Minutes after, she deletes the yellow area related information in the data and transfers it secretly to her own storage. The next day, she operates on Jun Yi, but this time she talks to it like talking to her real mother, teaching her to escape. When the lab director starts the simulation again, the fight seems disappointingly the same, so he wishes luck to his team and says goodbye as their project has no hope anymore. They then finish the simulation and activate Jun Yi, 
letting it walk to get fixed independently again. As he walks, the laboratory director is preoccupied with thoughts, causing him to go back and replay the previous simulation. After several replays, he realizes that the last bullet did not hit Jun Yi. The director immediately figures that something fishy is going on, so he sounds the emergency alarm and tells the staff to activate some combat AI robots. Due to this, everyone gets worried and heads fastly to the safe room. Meanwhile, Jun Yi is on the run and fights off the staff following her. On her way, she stumbles upon a room where she sees multiple clones of her. Jun Yi is awestruck and observes them quietly. However, at this time, three combat AI robots enter the same room and she tries to hide by pretending to be one of the clones. But the combat AI finds her and the battle ensues. She manages to kill off two of them, but the last one manages to trap her. When she is about to die, her daughter comes and turns off the combat AI robot. A ground of combat AI units then arrive and fire upon the body of Jun Yi. Seo Hyun, who is being assisted by another AI robot, is seen walking out of the room as this occurs. The combat AI units then inspect the body of Jun Yi and discover that its mind is no longer present. They quickly access the CCTV footage and realize that Seo Hyun had taken the AI brain of Jun Yi and transferred it into the AI robot that was helping her to leave the room, resulting in a clever escape. As Seo Hyun and Jun Yi escape on a train, the lab director suddenly appears on board. He explains that the chairman trusts her greatly and questions the motives behind her actions, but she retorts that she had already erased Jun Yi's memories of her daughter. The lab director tests her claim by shooting her causing her mother to intervene and fight against him, accidentally damaging his facial skin, revealing the metal and wires underneath. This leads the lab director to realize that his own body is similar to that of a robot, and Seo Hyun reveals that he is just another toy of the chairman. A group of combat AI units then arrive to eliminate them, but the mother emerges victorious. Seo Hyun urges her to escape, but Jun Yi wants to take her with her. However, Seo Hyun insists on living a free life and declines in tears. Before departing, the mother embraces and kisses her on the forehead, causing Seo Hyun to cry and remember her past experiences with her mother. The movie ends with Jun Yi, who now has a new prosthetic body. She escapes the train and goes to the mountains, where no one can find her or figure out her identity symbolizing a new start.